everybody, Karen Jones and pointofviewpointofme.com. And here we are, we're going to jump right into it. How to use, how to create great cover pages with Font Candy. All right, Font Candy Plus, excuse me. So we've got Font Candy, there it is. We're going to turn it on. And the first thing you see, the first thing, this is the first thing you'll see. So you can see the slideshow of all the great examples that they've shown using their app. So we're going to go directly into the library, or you can take your own photograph. All you have to do is hit the camera and take your own photograph right away. But we're going to use a picture that I've already chosen, so I'm going to go into my lab library, into my camera roll, and I've got this lovely sunset we're going to use today. So in the upper right-hand corner, you have a check mark. You want to hit that, okay? Now you've got this lovely screen. It says double tap to edit. That's for your the words that you want to put on your image. So we're going to double tap that, and you'll see you'll have a, your flashing cursor at the very top. So we're going to put the sky is stunning. Oops. Yes, that is correct. Thanks. Thank you for a spell check. And um, double exclamation point. Fantastic. Now, um, on the left-hand side, right above the keyboard, it says change font. So I'm going to already change the font because that's the font they have. But it's not my favorite font. And as you can see, they've got a, a lot of fonts here that you can, you can play with. Wow, that's pretty intense. That's gorgeous. I like that. But anyway, that's not my favorite font. That's not the font I'm going to use with you today. I'm going to go to my favorite font really quickly, so you can play with all of these at your own, with with your at your own time. Blackout Midnight is my favorite. So I'm going to hit that check mark. It's going to turn green, and there it is. Now I have the sky scanning, which is actually quite a nice image. I can spread that out with my fingers on my iPad, or I can close it, and it stays wide. Um, uh, and but I want to show you how to use this. Yes, this is one way you can use it. That's correct. But if you go to that square in the bottom, and then that bottom menu that you've got there, you hit the square, and then you move the cursor as I'm moving it right now, and you'll get your picture. Fantastic. Now you go to the F, and you get your font. So you want to slide that back over, and there it is. Voila, there is your font. Now, it's pretty big for me. I don't want it that big, so I'm just going to squeeze it and make it smaller. So that's what it's look, it looks like, okay? Now, um, I want to also show you that the, the little equal sign with little balls on them, you want to press that, okay? And that'll show you that you with the double A at the top, where it says double A, you can make it wider and make it huge, like that. The sky is stunning, obviously, it's too much. That's at least for what I want to do today. And, and it, you can expand it and make it, that's basically resizing the font, okay? You can also move it with your finger where you want to place it, where you want to position it. On the left-hand side, now I've got to make it big so you can see how to use that left-hand cursor. So let's make it big so it goes into two, two lines. The one on the left makes, you can spread open the lines and measure how much, how wide you want it, okay? I personally don't want to use that with you today. I want to use this, but I did want to show you that it does that. So you've got your sky stunning in one line, and then on the bottom, you can make it tighter, or you can um, broaden the spacing between the letters, okay? And that's what you can do with that. So we're going to go over to F now, and we're going to change the color of the font. Now you can make it gray or white or the dark gray or the black that I use. You can try red. I mean, if that works for you, use it. The yellow is pretty intense. Not really what I want to work with today. And they, they have these lovely colors, the, the, the whole rainbow. And they have these lovely colors that go up and down in grade. So you've got um, this blue that, as you see, as you, the further screen you go down in the screen, it gets lighter or darker. You see that? Fantastic. I love that. Um, and you've got the red, and it does the same thing. That's an, actually a nice color, too. Oh, I like that. What might change? Hmm. Anyway, um, I really, really like the blue after going through so many different colors. So I'm going to go, not with that blue. Was it that one? Yeah, this one. Oh, no, the blue one. I like the blue because of the blue sky at the top. It's a nice contrast and a nice nice perspective in, in terms of art. So, and that's my interesting point of view. Okay, so that's, that one is pretty much set. Now, if you go to the, back to the photograph, what you can do is you can play with adding color to your photograph. So, for example, if I put, touch the yellow, I can add some yellow to my tint on the photograph. Not really working for me. Let's try green. Nah. Um, let's try blue. The blue isn't too bad because it brings out more of the violets in the photograph, so it kind of looks more dusky. I actually kind of like that. But I also had another one that I, I think I tried the red, and the red was interesting too, because it brought out some other hues in the sunset. 
But anyway, I don't want to get into the artsy part of this. So I'm going to um, go back with, um, what was it, the blue that I really liked? Yeah, let's look at that blue. That was interesting. Yeah, let's let's add a little hint of blue into that. Very cool. Okay, so if you if you touch the button on the left, it'll show you what it's like with it and without it. That button, that M or that M or the N. Uh, I'm kind of liking the M. So we're going to hold that for now. Now you can add an, add more lettering with a, you can add as many different kinds of fonts as you want. So I'm going to add like a wow. Okay. And uh, put an exclamation part, point on that too. And we're going to change the font and find something fun. Um, what was it? Let's try snig Sniglet was really cute. I, let's try snig Sniglet. So we're going to push the check mark again. Push it twice, and there it is, right on my page there. And I can make it big or smaller. Or I like the big because it's so beautiful. So, But I'm going to change the color, so I'm going to go back to the F, and we're going to work with a color. Um, I don't. That's too much. Let's try this. Let's try this. I like this color. This is like a coral color. But you, you, can, you can determine if you want it really bright. You can have it like a transparent. And once again, it moves into the other color. So it all kind of like kind of transparent. That's really cool too. But I like I like this pinkish color. So you can move this around as anywhere you'd like. Okay, I'm gonna keep it up top because I like how it goes with the colors of the of the sunset. And you can um, you can double it if you hit that. You see when that the square comes up if you tap your screen. If you hit that that plus sign, it will double, and you can have a double wow if you choose. And you can move that around. Have one on the bottom, one on the top. Not my kind of thing, but if you hit the, the X, you can just delete it so you don't have to worry about it. So there it is. I'm 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 happy with that. What do you think? Looks pretty cool, huh? So we're going to save that, and we're going to, you see the little half open box at the bottom with the arrow? You want to press that, and then you can hit save, and now it's in my library. Now I can send it to Instagram, I can email it, I can message it, I can Facebook it, Twitter it, Flickr it, Tumblr it, copy it, and send it to an app. Anything you'd like. And if you want to change it, you can always just go back at the upper right, left-hand corner of your screen. You can go back to the original thing and then um, you hit the check mark and you can go back to where you were and you can get rid of everything and start all over. Or you can go keep hitting the arrow in the upper left-hand corner and go straight back to the beginning. And st the, 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 there'll be a prompt that says you want to start over and you can start over and open up another photograph. So there you have it, Font Candy Plus. It is awesome. I really like it. Thank you for joining me today. Karen Jones, pointofyou.com. Have a great day.